Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Oh, I've heard about the ankle. So, I hope everyone's having a great day. By the way, can you hear the rain? Well, the car <laughs> and the rain. Doesn't it sound so nice? Soothing. It's so relaxing. We're about to ruin that, don't worry. <laughs> Well, Amber and Alexis are, at least. And while I'm certainly not really interested in anything Alexis has to say, I think this is just another prime example of Amber Lynn, one, using her BPD as an excuse for literally everything now, and also, what a horrible friend she is. Like, truly. Truly. Like, I, I know we don't like Alexis, but Alexis makes some points that Amber Lynn just completely glosses over, but we're going to look into it. So, yeah, I am up in Vermont, you guys. We had a safe drive. Thank you all for your well wishes and whatnot. I'm just going to be here for a little bit, but yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe, become a channel member, and let's just dive right on into this, shall we? It's going to be a long one. Oh, by the way, my clip that I had pretty much stopped working, you know, so... I was able to go online and Unicorn Purdue, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, they had it. So thank you to them. And yeah, enough yapping. Let's dive right on in, shall we? Like, I know you're watching me right now, and I just want to let you. Okay, I don't know why that first little blip. She said, hi, Alexis, because Alexis was sending super chats, remember? Like, that's weird. Weird. Know that like what you've done you've hurt me like genuinely hurt me and i think that's oh my god dude not a single tear was shed during this entire stream but she like did that thing with her voice you know kind of like what tommy did at the whole eulogy thing oh you really need to know i don't even want to be friends with people anymore because of you you've freaking ruined that for me like you've tainted it like oh my god eye roll that's always what she says so okay so what's going on with alexis is that she hurt my feelings by publicly talking about something that shouldn't have been public and also that isn't true she can i don't know if any of y'all have seen the screenshot messages going around from tommy now i don't know when these were sent out and to my little insider you know who you are <laughs> um apparently I'm not going to post the full message, but I'll read it out. This is Willow talking to someone. I'm not sure who. Maybe Alexis. I got to experience true love already with Colleen, and I'm so grateful she could give that to me. I don't think I'll ever find that again, and I'm okay with that. So, I don't know, you know, if that's how... It all happened and they also revealed that uh she met amber on tiktok go figure but i don't know i don't know could it have to do with that that colleen seems to be or that willow emily oak whatever the fuck oh my god like is just using amberlyn to kind of get over at all because it doesn't seem like Tommy maybe really has that much of intentions of finding that love again but I don't know that could also just be you know another narcissist coming up with excuses because it seems like Tommy knows exactly what to say as well her opinions all she wants because I also have my own that she will rightfully rightfully disagree with like wholeheartedly I just wish she would have done it privately just like this phone call, but she wants to do everything publicly, which really confuses me. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. Well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't help with the whole Alexis is just a, like, a attention whore, so to, basically. But Alexis does make a good point that it holds her more accountable to how she uses her emotions. And I find that very, very interesting that Alexis pointed that out. She seems two-faced. It just goes to show she's only about it for herself. She was fine until people started hating on her. Do it privately if you do. I don't want to say, like, mean things about her. But, like, I read your super chat. Uh, but she does. Out loud. I appreciate your super chat. Everyone has their opinions. 
Um, can we agree that she wants to do it public, pub, pub, I can't talk publicly because she's a clout chaser. That's the only reason I'm sorry about that. Everyone needs real friends. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that. I, I literally can't say that. Like I'm. <sighs> she's too good of a person, you guys. Like just because someone, like I love Alexis. So just because like she's hurt me, I don't want to like hurt her in the process. Sorry, I'm texting Alexis type deal. Girl, you really don't care about that though. Amberlynn is a known pathological deceiver. Okay. Thank you for the $5. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Not gonna lie, kind of freaking funny. What to do? Oh my god, you guys are throwing tomatoes at me? This is hectic. I'm trying to figure out what? No. Hold on, I'm trying to hide this user. I feel like I'm being spammed. Is this what being spammed is like? How's your food aggression these days? I don't have food aggression. I've never had food aggression. Like, I genuinely don't know. Girl, bye. That means. The FaceTime is insane. <laughs> oh, Lord. Alexis. What? What is happening right now? Like, genuinely. Someone messaged me and said, you're me. So I was like, hold on. Not on my oh my god. Not the Alexa going off. <laughs> hold on. I've got many options, like CNN, Fox News. Alexa! Shh! Why does she always think? <laughs> okay. Why are you all up in the camera like this? I'm <laughs> because I'm nervous. Can you guys hear her? <laughs> oh, yeah. Alexis, you... Now I think it was definitely a choice for Amberlynn to come on. And she manipulates that. That, like, oh, you know I can't say no. Like, eye roll. I hurt my feelers. You hurt mine sometimes, too. Listen, I'm in love. <laughs> Ew. So that's an excuse for you hurting your friend's feelings? Gross. Enough. <laughs> Amberlynn's a really bad friend, y'all. If y'all didn't pick that up, really, really bad friend. I mean, there's a difference between, like, the friend that just kind of, like, retracts when they get into a relationship. I can understand that more so. Not really, but I think that's more understanding. But, like, to actively go and hurt your friends because you're in love, quote-unquote love, eye roll. Um, be so for real. My question is like, why did you have to do this like public? This is going to be another long one again, guys. So probably very minimal editing. I'm sorry, but I feel like it, it gives you the raw, the real raw. <laughs> so raw, you guys. Fuck. That's the part where I'm just like, that's hectic. Like everything we've been. Oh my God. I roll fucking hectic. Through like you contacted the very reaction channel that like genuinely hurts me to my core. Uh, pfft. side eye, really, Jordy? Jordy does, but you were literally begging and pleading to get onto his live multiple times. So, eh. first of all, from what we have talked about, I thought you liked him. No, I don't like him. I did see a little bit of the messages, and Jordy getting real sassy. Love it. I don't know as though we need to cover it. Because, like, it it has to do with Amberlynn, but, like, Alexis isn't spilling any new tea, you know? So why would we really care? And, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, I was planning on actually not... Go to our Lord Jordy's channel, you know, and watch the videos with the messages with to Alexis. I don't think she revealed anything new in it, but, you know. Speaking to you again. Mm -hmm. Don't... Don't look in the camera like that. <laughs> Ew. Okay. Also, I just am, like, so fed up, Amber. Like, I love you, but... And I want you to be happy, and I want you to find somebody that's good for you. But I don't think that it's her. Ooh. Ooh. Of course this would ruin Amber's friendship, though. Of course it would. I'm sorry if you don't agree. I'm sorry if others don't agree. But... What? Actually, Alexis... <laughs> hey, a broken clock. It's right, right twice a day. I mean, I agree with her. I just feel weird about it. And I had my reservations. <laughs> I had my <laughs> reservations before anything came up about her. Anything. Mm hmm And you know why. Mm hmm It's not a secret. Okay, but the thing is, like, I, you, okay. <laughs> You've dated a lot of people while we, while we have been friends. Like, you. Okay, chill out. Side eye. <laughs> 
I had it. I have had it. It's okay. We don't have to. Two official relationships. Okay. But there have been things that you've done, blah, 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 that I don't agree with either, but I would never be like, all right, guys, publicly, I'm going to say that I am no longer Alexis's friend, and this is the reason why. Like, that's hectic. I know, but I wasn't talking shit. Like, I, I fully, I fully support that, like, you have your opinions. Like, I support that, because, like, I... Uh, do you? Because you seem to be holding it against her. Also have mine, but, like, to go and do that, like, you've hurt me on a level that's just, like, not okay. I hear you. I mean, yeah. I can kind of see that, like... There was definitely no need for her to go run into uh, any reaction channel, honestly, because that just feeds into Amberlynn's whole fear, really. She's terrified of becoming friends with people because eventually it turns around and every like detail gets used against her. And, like, I'm not going to lie to you. That's kind of not okay. I'm going to be realistic here. I think it's still funny in the case of Amberlynn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, we can detach her from the situation, I guess. That, like, that's really shitty. You know? I mean, Amberlynn, it's a special case because she's so maniacally horrible. But, you know... If it wasn't Amberlynn and I was seeing, like, this person just constantly getting left and then talk shit about, like, yeah, I would probably avoid that person, too, because, like, there's probably some truth in what everyone's saying, but you kind of can't help but feel bad for them, right? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> But I told you, I don't remember yesterday or the day before. I know not a lot of people have sympathy for Amberlynn, and I don't either. But I have sympathy for people that might be in similar, like, instances or scenarios, but different circumstances, if that makes sense. Yesterday, but I didn't want to talk about Emily with you anymore. I, like, I was like, can you just separate these relationships? Like, I, I don't care if we live in the same state. I don't have to be her best friend. I'm your friend. I'm not her Valid. friend. And if you guys break up, I'm still going to be here. But I'm not. <clears throat> See, and Amberlynn goes into thinking, oh, but we're not going to break up. We're never going to break up. Like, oh, my God, girl. That wasn't the point of that. That wasn't the point of what. I'm Not to defend Alexis by any means, but that wasn't the point she was making. You know? That's the thing where it's like, I want to be with Tommy for like ever my god saying that after meeting once oh my god like i genuinely love her and like you know that and you've seen that and i've expressed it and i've but how many times have you called me crying your eyes out because the most outlandish shit that she has said to you no you not remember no no i i have been very low you know that she's gonna blame it on mental health and yeah, just be prepared to get pissed off, y'all. That's why I let you listen to the rain in the beginning. <laughs> like mentally. And to calm you down a bit before the storm. And unfortunately, with valid Tommy, reasons, with valid yes, reasons sometimes. Yes, and same with Tommy. Like, she's never, ever gone through something like this. Like, this has been so hard for her. And then, like, for her... She's going to use the excuse that Tommy's mental health was bad. So that made it all right that she treated Amberlynn poorly. Now, once again not to defend Amberlynn in this at all but no no if we're not going to allow Amberlynn to use her mental excuse to treat others poorly then Tommy can't either like let's be so for real fiance to be like talked about in the way that she has it's horrible because she was such an amazing woman like it's not okay it has left her very low and during low time side eye major side eye dude uh, it feels so icky, this relationship. I'm not going to lie to you. Because, like, we know Amber's lying about stuff and this and that. But I think Tommy is, too. And I think this is really, like, the first time we've ever had a girlfriend in Girl World that met Amber's crazy. You know what I mean? Thanks. We're in for one hell of a season, y'all. Well, maybe she should have taken the time to heal before she got Oh my god, Alexis, I'm not doing this actually on live. Like, I'm not being combative. I'm just telling you how I feel. Okay, I get it. What was what was actually the point of this? I love how like she just kind of like chuckles and brushes it off. Like, well, what's the point of this? Like, 
Alexis, girl, I don't like you. All right. You should just fade out. Forget about all this. But that's a bad friend, girl. Genuinely, what was the point of this? Because you aren't always accountable when it's private. When we have a private Okay, that's fine. Ooh, see. Like, I don't have to be fully accountable. You don't have to be fully accountable. Bruh. Bruh. Well, it doesn't matter. Why not? Why not? <laughs> the freaking excuse. <laughs> I just fully don't understand. Like, I just don't understand, and I never will. And I've tried to explain to you. So not understanding her side means you don't have to be accountable? What? Like, what do you mean you will never understand? I have given you clear-cut reasons why I am not a fan of this relationship. I have given you valid reason after valid reason after valid reason. I know, but you... And that's fine, honestly. I have had plenty of friends that I did not agree with their relationships. And I'm the type of person that... I can keep it quiet for a while. Unless, like, something is specifically done towards me by that person. Then I will openly <laughs> let you know how much I dislike them. But, it's, like, you can still be there for your friend, you know? Like, none of those friendships tapered off or ended just because I said, listen, I support you, I support your choices, I don't like them. Sorry. So, let's just not talk about them, you know? Let's not, like, you can do that. I don't know why, I mean, I, kn I know why. <laughs> but Amberlynn, it's all or nothing with her. Come up with- She's gonna say, oh, well, that's because of my BPD. Things where I'm like, oh, no, let me explain that. Like, you're literally off your rocker in that case. Like, I've- li Rude. Rude. Calling someone crazy because they have this perception that you helped create? Gaslighty. Really? Like, any person I've ever spoken to, you've never wanted me to, to talk to them anymore or be with them okay, or- okay. okay. Okay, I liked Jade. Obviously not Amber. Okay. Why do you say real names? I liked Amber. We know her freaking name. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. And is it true? Like, did Alexis really admit that she had a relationship with Jade before? Like, did I hear that correctly in the, you know, grapevine? That's wild. <laughs> That's wild. How is it? Like, I know there's not that few of lesbians in the United States, all right? I know. I know. How is it that this is the second relationship she's had where she dated someone that dated someone that she dated? That's crazy because Beck was friends with Crystal. Crazy. Holy fuck. But that's the thing. How do you like someone who did the things that they did to me and you know what she did to me? That's where I'm like, this is hectic. Like, how could you but sit I, there and say that? But I also know what all these other girls have done to you, too. Oh, my God. Ooh. I, I don't know. All these other girls. Ooh. I don't know what's going on with you, but, like... See, I think Alexis is go going fully off of the words of Amber, and Amber talks shit about everyone. She makes everyone sound freaking terrible. That's just how she is. Like, I just want you to support, like, because, like, I know you don't want to be my friend, but I'm just letting you know, like, I know you gave me the ultimatum, which is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, but don't act like it's that crazy, girl. You give ultimatums all the time. But genuinely, Tommy makes me like the happiest I've ever felt, and I want to keep, I want to keep feeling that. And I. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Goo is up pacing around. I want to see where she are. Also makes me very sad. She also makes no, me very what makes me sad. very sad is everything that's been going on lately online. No. It's been freaking. No. I'm All right, gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up actually because. Oh, I thought that was Alexis hanging up on her. I'm not gonna lie. You know that to be true, that everything that has been happening online has made us both miserable. Both. Like you have heard me cry about it multiple times. I'm sorry, but the one. And I'm before like, all of this life. happened, me and Tommy never had sad moments like that. Like it literally was. Bruh, we never had sad moments. They've only been talking to each other for like a month and a half at this point. That's freaking crazy. That is freaking crazy, all right? Like, Amber, you, there hasn't been an opportunity for there to be low points. She's so delusional, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And the issue is, is that 
when the delusion eventually breaks, she is going to probably feel freaking terrible for how she treated Alexis, but she's going to have way too much pride to admit that she was actually wrong. Magic, like actual magic. And then all of a sudden our mental health got low because we were being harassed for days on end. Like, oh, womp womp. So, yeah. I, you really didn't think that was going to happen? Foolish on both your parts. I, I cry to you a lot about that. And it's like, it just sucks that you're taking my mental health and then Tommy's mental health and like using it against us and saying, yeah, this is the deciding factor of why I don't like this relationship. That's that's crazy to me because you have also Rude. been in situations, like even your current one, let's not go there. I won't do that. Where I'm like, I'm, not them into this. I'm just not saying, them into this. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. They have also done things where I'm like, Okay, yes, but nobody's perfect, but they have never said the things to me that Tommy has said to you. Oh. Oh. What do we think Tommy said? Like, what could have been that bad? I I think that maybe, like, you took it wrong, but, like, me in, like, a BPD moment or episode? Rude. I'm I'm a little... Rude and not an excuse. ...hectic, and I get kind of like, Amber, like, one of the specific comments that she made to you was awful. I would never say that to a partner. Okay, but to me, like, so people are thinking this is staged. It actually is. Are you guys enjoying it? This is staged, actually. Genuinely. Um, Side eye. What was I saying? Well, it is staged on her part because every everything's a performance for Amber Lynn, you know? <laughs> she's a sociopath, dude. I, I swear, I really don't think she has BPD. I think she's just... She's not smart, but she's smart enough to manipulate you know what i mean hi basil hi. what a sweet little baby you putting me and your audience on hold while you're in a live is crazy behavior <laughs> i think i'm disassociating or having like an out-of-body experience right now i roll go binge about it oh, sorry you i'm doing something <laughs> and i don't know i really don't know what but um i'm doing something Okay, everyone's telling me to go to therapy. I'm literally on Monday. I'm going to get a therapist. And then you guys will never have to say that to me again because that is like... She's all, also on Monday. She's going to start Ozempic. She's going to drink seven balls of water a day. You know, one meal a day. It, it all starts on Monday, you guys. Every time. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Saying that also, like, just to try to get people off your back. Like, how gross. How gross. She treats therapies as such a frivolous thing. It's a lot. But of course, when someone recommends like a DBT or CBT, I think it's DBT, uh, book, she's like, oh my God, where can I get that? Yeah, wh- where? Send the link. Like, <laughs> of course, she'd rather just do like a little at-home journal book than go do the real work. Um, I agree with them. I told you that. So the only option here, honestly, like if you truly feel like um how you feel which is fine you can feel how you feel but like <laughs> you can feel how you feel but if you feel this way this is what's going to happen jesus i think it's time that maybe um we take this off a line and if you don't want to talk off a line off a line what in private that's fine i will respect I just that as don't well want things, i don't want things to get disrespectful and i'm really not a super big fan of you bringing my partner into this because they have been nothing but nice okay then oh let's move on from that let's move on from that oh so once again let's just move on from that i roll that's why the dangers came out because we we don't have to hold on i'm getting like all kinds of things um yeah that's another thing like i don't even know i'm just like tommy has only ever been nice to you that's something else that's like really crazy to me we've always had such a great time the three of us and okay Yes, but I don't agree with some of the things that she says to you. I get that. I, I, we don't have to agree, but that doesn't mean like, why can't you like separate? Like, okay, you just admitted people aren't perfect. Okay, that's number one. Tommy has been going through one of the lowest times of her life, trying to gravitate that with thousands of people watching. I understand. But when I was doxxed earlier this year, I did not take it out. Okay, I get that. Her story is different though. Her story is different, and she's never taken it out on me. She has had low mental health, and I'm sure everyone watching. Like, you- bruh, not an excuse. That's not an excuse. Amberlynn has such low self esteem, dude. She will literally jump th- 
through the tiniest of hoops to try and justify the relationship. You guys have had very low like mental health before and you need space and dating someone with BPD, which is me, like if your partner says you need space, you kind of take that personal. And I know I shouldn't take that personal. Once I'm out of like my weird BPD type of deal, I'm able to focus in and be like- I roll, dude, I roll. It's, it's just excuses, you guys, I swear, I swear. She knows like what the points are for BPD in a relationship. I don't think like, I don't know. It's just so weird. It's so weird. This is normal. Like we shouldn't be on FaceTime 24 seven when your mental health is that low. Like, no, cause I'm like. <laughs> no, you may not speak quiet lap dog. It's not gonna be bad. Can I say something though? It wasn't the space that you needed that was the problem. And we've talked about this before, even in the beginning. I was like, you need to learn how to detach and give her some space sometimes. I told you this. But the problem was the comments being made towards you because one of those comments were absolutely vile and I would never drink. I need to know what was said. I mean, not really, I don't really care. But, oh my God, I can only imagine. What do you guys think it was? I was saying that to one of my partners. Okay. Especially if we were still together okay um i don't i don't know i really don't know what to say i just know that like no relationship is perfect oh is this the whole because apparently allegedly allegedly tommy threatened to unalive because of amber which is disgusting i mean we know amber does that too equally disgusting but like Amber met her match with this one. I'm telling you. But I do know that, like, in this one, this is the closest to perfect that I've ever had. Like, I oh genuinely God. am thoroughly happy, and I want to, like, see that through. Like, you're literally giving me whiplash because one day it's not perfect and you're breaking up, and the next day it's perfect and wonderful and natural. You're oh, Alexis, you're finally picking up, huh? <laughs> Welcome. Literally giving me whiplash. I don't know if I'm supposed to support because her or not. You are supposed to support her and you're supposed to support the fact that like I'm happy and like we're finally getting over that like scary like mental health situation that we were in. And I think that like Bruh. that you caused yourself. Okay. When someone's at their lowest, like to judge them during that time is not the person that I am. I ball ball. Remember how you were literally kicking back when she was already down? After you freaking kicked her out of your house with no money that you promised her, dude, shut up. Can't do it. Because I know for me, when I'm at my lowest, I say and do things that I probably wouldn't do otherwise. Like, okay, has she, has she yes, of course. For the one so see, she would never do this. But then when she's at her lowest, she'll do things that she would never do. If you would never do them, then you wouldn't do them even when you were in your lowest. Like what? Yes. I know you know I'm talking about. Yes. And it's like that comment hurt you more than it hurt me. And I'm just over here like that's bruh, that's a issue. Also insane crazy. Because I understand. I've literally been in that situation before. Do you not in that exact situation, you, but do you remember how many hours you cried after because that comment I, was made? Alright, Alexis, I'm gonna go because Ooh. I feel like you're trying to make this way worse than what it is, and that's the part that's like really frustrating to me because you're doing it in front of thousands of people and, and it was one comment. One Comment. okay but you're you're acting you're oh my god i am actively like in a relationship where i'm happy and see see as soon as you have any type of issue whatsoever rain really started picking up anytime you have some type of issue it's you're not supporting her happiness you don't want her to be happy dude she's very manipulative it's really gross like, like right now and i'm gonna say this that's not BPD. I'm sorry, it's not. She is like psychotic and an, you know, an abuser. Cause no, even my friends with BPD, I've had the conversations with some of them that were like, listen, I still love you. I don't need to love them. That's fine. I, I don't even hang out with them anyways. So like, why do I need to care, you know? And most of the time, people respect that, you know? At least, it's like you're being honest. My God, people appreciate honesty, even if it hurts a bit. Most of the time, unless you're in Berlin. Yes, because our, my mental health is finally improving. And so is hers. Girl. Uh, <laughs> girl.
because at first this was like a bomb like this it was like a literal bomb that was set off you're welcome <laughs> like genuinely and i know you've had your lows too and you say and do things like you literally yes this is a skit and this is staged yes you say and do wild things that like you know come on like you've been there we are not robotic we are all human like i understand that but i wouldn't be a good friend if i didn't speak up okay Ooh. what made you to, in my opinion do something that wasn't okay is when you publicly went to a reaction channel that you know i don't like i don't support and you did this publicly you don't support them but you were going to go into their live stream do you know how much money extra money jordy would have made if she if he actually did come on live with her oh my god granted i guarantee it she would have like demanded money or something for it she would have been like well it's part of that profit is mine like she would have done something fishy and now she's threatening to sue reaction channels what happened to the whole get your bag like i want to give y'all a hug we could all be best friends but now it's i'm gonna sue you and didn't she threaten to sue jordy like in chat messages and he was like you can literally kiss my ass <laughs> I've never seen him get like that, y'all. Never. And I've been watching Jordy for quite a while. So, ooh. If, already knowing that publicly, I'm going through fucking hell. That's the part where I'm confused. And then you don't even want to have this phone call with me. Privately, you want to do it publicly yet again, knowing that I love you, and I'm not going to be able to say no. Bruh. Oh, my God. So she's still weaponizing the fact that, oh, I do things because I love people. I roll. Like, that's not fair. But she wants to say she's changed so much, you guys. So much. Oh. Okay, but you don't always show me that you love me. Valid. I try my hardest. Like, I'm always there for you. Like, I feel like we've gotten the closest ever, ever since I've been with Tommy. Like, we all three of us hang out together. And, like, I just don't understand, like, genuinely. Also, genuinely. I want to clarify, I haven't met either of them. We have not hung out in person. No, it's not in person. It's very 2024 coded um, through the FaceTime, actually. That's weird. So Tommy took the photo through FaceTime? Odd. Yeah. Or Air. Oh my god. There's so many names. Alexis. Fucking A. Like, I just want, like, us to be okay. But it's like, I don't know if it's ever gonna... If we're gonna be able to get to that point ever again. Um, I roll. I'm also very hurt. I am also extremely hurt. And it's... I don't know as though I'd say funny ironic fishy maybe suspicious that amber lynn is allowed to use her bpd as an excuse but alexis who also has bpd is not okay can you ex actually don't explain why i would rather do that privately because i don't understand actually i'm not gonna say anything messed up but sometimes i just feel like you choose your partners over me and then they leave or you break up at, or you fight and then you're back yes. to you're back to giving me the friendship that i give to you and it's reciprocal and then you're back in la la land and i'm back on the back burner but you're not with true you're not on the back burner when it comes to me and tommy i have been closer to you than i ever have and you know that and i genuinely but the one time that she goes and expresses how she feels and is being love. honest with you is still giving you support and showing you love you're not okay with it of course like the friendship that you two were forming like it was fun the three of us like talking and like hanging out and like it was and you know that even after all everything came out i still gave her a chance i still gave her the benefit of the doubt so it seems like since all that news broke of Tommy being a feeder and whatnot, Alexis has been very suspicious as well, which valid. She asked me if I thought she was a bad person. I said no. I was still around. I was still talking to her. But it's certain things that have transpired since that I just can't get behind. And it has. It doesn't mean I hate her. Okay, then. Just like, then we won't be friends. Why, bruh? I don't know what else to say because like i just in the way that i would support you like i want you to do the same for me like when i'm genuinely I, happy i was trying and it's like it's it's fucked up that like i can't confide in you like as a best friend like you can do you know all the stuff that i literally could have said that i chose not to no Ooh. that i like actually yeah like you know a lot of stuff about my exes about friends about people in my life like you know a lot like yeah because she goes and talks shit about everyone genuinely um do you really think that i would ever spill that be so for real right now I was scared. 
Come on. I was. So she's admitting she was scared. She's admitted it multiple times. But then when asked if she's scared of Alexis, no. Well. <laughs> because it's like, what you did already has shocked me, has left me shocked. Genuinely has left me shocked. But I haven't made derogatory statements about you. You are not you. I don't care. Not the issue. I don't care. So derogatory statements were made. Okay. I think she got called fat. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. But I don't know if Tommy would go for that. But what would she, what else would she go for? I would rather you make them about me. That's the point. I'd rather you make them about me. Like you have hurt me by hurting her. Like genuinely. That is. Oh my God. I roll. What I'm trying to explain to you. And then cue the voice. And if you, like, if you can't see that, then I don't know what to Like, do you guys know how easy it is to just, like, go in and just having, like, a really hard time right now? Like, my God. <laughs> oh, you. I and this is embarrassing. You. that Like, because I needed... I blame my, like, kind of good... Like, at the convention, I'm not a talkative person. I'm not. Like, in a situation, I will not speak unless spoken to. <laughs> but I just turn on my waiter mode you know like that works so well it comes in handy in so many situations I have this conversation it's like and totally like it's just me kind of disassociating a little bit but it helps I feel like I can't even fully like because we're <laughs> Like, almost 4,000 people are watching. I feel <laughs> no, I felt that, though. Like, when you just can't get it out, you just, like, start T-Rex arming. <laughs> fucking so embarrassed by this. But I felt like I had to do it because it was the only way we could talk. Like, oh, eye roll. How embarrassing is this? I mean, yeah, that is a little bit, like, toxic of Alexis, too, because she was like, this is your one and only chance on live or not at all. <laughs> well... Because I needed you to be accountable. Because sometimes you are just so stuck and hyper focused on something that you refuse to see other perspectives and you refuse to see the truth. Well, girl, an audience isn't going to change that. <laughs> and this is something that I have accepted about you, and I understand, but that's not fair to me. I genuinely I'm, don't know. I am valid. Two hours late for my concert. I hope you have fun at your concert. I um now look like a dumb. So. I look like a manipulator. I don't take accountability. I am um... not reading the comments. I'm not reading the comments. I'm talking to you. Yeah, I get that. But like, <clears throat> I just, you, you have seen These freaking eyebrow gems, dude. She's got to run out eventually, right? They're not reusable. Well, certainly not for Amberlynn. Yeah. <laughs> Amberlynn, I don't think you're a bad person. I just think that sometimes you're vulnerable. Do you think she has like little dots there left over? Because she doesn't shower often or wash her face, like, ever. Do you think that, like, they're little, like, glue dots? <laughs> and you need someone to show you different perspectives sometimes. Okay, but I'm letting you know that, like, I firmly think that you're wrong in this situation. And in the way that... Okay, but y'all can agree, like, agree to disagree. That's fine. Like you're viewing whatever you're viewing. Like, it's just not... But and it's not fair because audience. you already know... Yes, but why does it have to be publicly? Why? Because you aren't always accountable when it's private. Oh my god. Oh. I guarantee you. I guarantee you she probably goes off the rails just lying, BSing, this and that. But it doesn't have. Oh my goodness. I don't know what else. I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know. Doing it live doesn't change the way that I respond to you. That's all I gotta say. Um. I bet you Oh. T. I'd probably be crying more, actually, if we were off a line. So I'm crying less being online. Good. But, um, good, yeah, no one wants to hear that, not even Alexis. Damn, I don't know if there is going to be a resolution right now. I think that we both have a lot of things to think about. And I've already been thinking, I've already done my thoughts. I've okay, already, me too. I've been journaling, I've been thinking, I've oh, been God, talking. The journaling, the rest of journaling. Always be <laughs> even Alexis is over the friggin' journaling, journaling. That's just what I, what I do. Um, and I know what I want in my life, and I know how I feel about certain situations and I don't know like I just I'm happy and all right but but never mind it doesn't matter I'm just I sound like a broken record at this point you're gonna feel how you feel I'm gonna feel how I feel and I just I don't know what to say to you Amberlynn 
because I feel like sometimes I'm just literally repeating myself over and over and over until you see my perspective. And sometimes you do, but sometimes you don't. I can see your perspective, but like, you're also not understanding mine and I can't fully explain it because I'm live streaming. And it's what does she need to understand? Like what? Personal. So it's like, that's not fair. So I'm actually not, you know what? I take back what I said. I'm not fully able to speak to you in the way that I would, because there are personal things that obviously I don't want to say on here. And that's also not fair. Not fair, but she's the one that agreed to do the call. I hear you, but I just don't. I just, I am just as much as you are hurt. I am also hurt. Okay. This is really taking a toll on me, even though I know I was the one to take a step back. It doesn't really matter. I still am hurt. I still am upset. I I've, still can feel the way that I feel. Yes. And I'm letting you feel the way that you feel. You're not, though. You're saying if you feel the way that you feel, then we're not friends anymore. Like, girl obviously i respect that i didn't mean to hurt you i don't know how that i did and if i did hurt you i'm sorry um i would never I intentionally mean, hurt you truthfully my final straw was when you brought my partner into this that was my final straw. okay i'm sorry for bringing your partner into this i was just trying to relate i was bringing like relatable situations together and i was just saying that you know sometimes we don't agree with certain things that people do but i would never look at you and say me or them i would never do that if i was in a what you assumed and saw to be a harmful relationship i would want you to there's nothing harmful and this is where i'm gonna hang up because there's nothing harmful happening i have n this is like the softest love i've ever had in my life i roll and I've wanted the gentle love. That is what I've craved. Someone to actually like love me gently. And it's not toxic or this like gross, like heavy, abusive. Like I've been in abusive things and you know that. I roll, dude. I roll. And this is the first time where I'm like, wow. So the first time. The first time. So everybody else was abusive and neglectful, this and that. Probably just because they didn't say, yeah, babe, let's go out to freaking Cheesecake Factory. Every damn time she wanted to. This is how it feels to like be loved without like feeling like there's some sort of like abuse going on. And I don't want to talk about this. Major side eye, dude, to slap that on all of your past relationships. So with Beck, you felt like there was abuse going on. With Crystal, you felt like there was abuse going on. Okay. Okay. Like, I mean, there was on your part. Girl. Like, this is a lot. Okay. Hey, you're fine. You're safe. Everything's good. I'm not safe. You. This is going to be on every fucking reaction channel there is. Oh, you damn right. Actually, it's been kind of hard to find too, too much about it. Maybe that's just me, but. <laughs> and nothing bad is happening. Yes, everything bad is happening. Like, you've, you've made me have this phone call publicly, and that's not fair. Okay. I roll. She made her. Well, some of the things you have said to me are also are not fair. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, my friends have literally been outside for the last 20 minutes. I have to go. I'm so what was this. the point of this then? Like, because I wanted to speak to you on a public platform where you could be accountable and you couldn't just say. Alexis, you should have just refunded the tickets and stayed on for the night, girl. Whatever you wanted out of emotion or out of the heat of the moment. Well, I'm going to be, I have BPD. I'm, I have a lot of eye roll emotions so, right now. So do I. So do I. I don't even know how I'm like actually I doing this. As, I don't use that as an excuse. I, I do too. Bam. I don't use it as an excuse. Ugh, people are telling me to hang up. I literally physically can't. I'm not like that type of person that like hangs up on people. But like. Well, either way, I have to go. My friends are literally like, what is going on? So you did all okay. this. Okay. What? What? Say it. What's, say what's, what the say. what's the next step in this like situation? Dude, I don't know. Like, I just want you to be happy for me. Like, you see me happy. So it's like, I want you to be happy for me. I was trying to be... Okay. I was trying to be... Mm. I don't I don't know what else to say. Well, this is just, we're going in circles now. So. I hope that you have fun at your concert. Um, and I'll... I don't know. Okay. Have a good rest of your night. Mm -hmm, you too. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, sorry. <sighs> I needed to call someone and just have like just a second that was oh my god had to call someone so she could talk her shit it's cringy that was should have been private everything probably called tommy being like oh my god alexis she freaking hates you she wants us to break up she thinks we're not good for each other she doesn't want to see me happy like oh my god <laughs> Um, I don't know what to say.
Like, I would have never done that to somebody. Girl. Like, genuinely, I would have never done that to someone. And, um... Okay. I don't know. Like, I don't want to think that she has, like, ill... Like, intentions. Like, I don't want to think that way at all. She literally gave you the reason why she wanted to do it on live. So, there's that. But, um... And I know, like, some people are on her side, some people are on my side. I literally... You guys don't know the full story. I don't give a shit, dog. We're just here to comment. Story, <laughs> and you'll never know the full story. How's everyone doing? I know, it's it's a long one again. I know. I know. She's upset because Tommy made one comment that literally had nothing to do with me. It wasn't directed towards me. It was nothing. Nothing like mm. that in the slightest. But my BPD... So then, was it the Colleen thing? And my sensitivity made it into like this big thing for no. I, know, I feel like there's definitely some parts I'm probably missing, but honestly, y'all, I'm so fatigued by all this drama. It feels like, like season six really kind of is this season six. This might be season six. Season seven might be actually when like we start to really get into the relationship with Tommy, because this is so. Ha oh my god. Fuck. I almost said it, y'all. I almost fucking said it. Ew. Get out of my brain, Amber. Get out of my fucking head. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is so hectic. <laughs> Reason. And, like, I don't know. If you guys heard it, you'd be like, oh. Yeah, that's actually just sad. That's not, you know, like, it's just been... I think it's the Colleen thing. It's been a lot for Tommy. It's been a lot for me. Our mental health has been, like, literally horrible. Um, like, literally? And we're finally starting to, like, have a little bit of hope. It's just been a lot. And, like, Alexis knows that. Like, she literally knows that. And, like, she's having me do this. Like, I was texting her and I was just, like, begging for, like, can we please just do this in private? And it's, like, she's, like, this is your only chance to talk to me. And it's, like, I care about her. I love her. And it's, like. I mean, if that's true, then, yeah, that's pretty shitty. What do I do? Like, do I just never talk to her again? Or do I do this one call and hopefully we can like figure something out, you know? So it was just- Girl, I highly doubt it would have been, we'll never talk again. It's like, I just wish you guys like, I wish I could tell you guys the full story so you guys could understand it a little more. I don't want to say the comment specifically because it's about um, Tommy's late fiance. And yeah, that's not, I'm not going to sit here and ever share anything personal like that about anybody. You guys know that. Like I roll, I roll, but here's someone's first name. <laughs> Go find them out, guys. I told you guys that. Like, Erica and Brittany just did the fucking shit to me. And I still never shared anything personal about them besides... Why? They didn't share anything personal about you, did they? I mean, a little bit, but not really. Strictly about the story at hand. Like, they wanted to come on here with some story. So I was like, uh-uh. Like, oh, uh, no, yeah, they were real talking stories. shit. They were. They were. The whole thing about, like, her mom and then Jade. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> this. Like, I don't sit here and just, like, I don't know. I'm not hiding anything, fuzz butt mutt. What, is, what kind of username is that, first of all? Um, I'm, not, I'm not hiding it. So Chantal coded. Anything. I'm just trying to respect people. Like, truly respect people and what yeah. they're going through. Okay. Like. Except Alexis. I just wish people understood that, like, tru truly, overnight, our life, like, changed drastically. Like, I have been... We're already into our, the hour stage. Oh my God. We both have been stressed and depressed and it's just been hard. For those of you saying that Alexis is weird, needs attention, jealous. I don't know. I'm going to read some super chat. <laughs> I really feel like I'm going to just like disassociate for a minute or act like I just, I don't know, don't exist for a second. I feel bad for people who are paying money and I'm not sitting here reading any of it. That makes me feel really bad. I okay. promise you, if it wasn't for everything that has happened lately, um, you guys have seen what I have been going through. Like, I literally have, what, I went to, I was going to bingo. I was living this, like, low-key life online. Just, like. Bro, what? And then all of a sudden, overnight, just everything. It's true, honestly, though. It's true. Everything came out all at once. And it's so exhausting. Freaking hit the fan at one time. I couldn't handle it. I still can't. And I don't know how I am. Like, genuinely. Oh, my God genuinely she literally sounds like kim kardashian when she starts fake crying right so my mental health like, why would you say that you know how i feel about that was low like the lowest it's been in a long time 
And that's after being so freaking happy, after Tommy coming to visit me. I've never felt so amazing in my life. I'm finally in this relationship where it's like, I have this gentle, soft love that I've been looking for. I roll. And I feel heard, I feel seen. Those are not feelings that I ever freaking feel, like ever. And then finally I have that, and then all of a sudden. She never feels seen? Okay. All of this stuff happens. I'm about to lose her because then her mental health plummets because everything has just been hard. It's been genuinely hard. And that is why I've been crying. That is why I've been low because of everything that has been happening on online. It has been, it has taken me for like a spin. And then. I don't, I really don't buy it. I really don't. Alexis, there's a lot she's not telling us. We know that. You don't need to come out and say it. We know. Now that it's, in my opinion, it's starting to calm down a little bit, you know? And <laughs> uh, maybe I'm starting to feel better. Tommy's starting to feel better. It's been really hard though. Like genuinely, what is a gentle, soft love? So I have been recently, I'm not talking about like all my partners, but I'm just saying like recently within the, uh, you said never. So that implies any of them last couple years of my life. I have been in relationships that were very hard, like genuinely very hard. Well, maybe it's because you go meeting these random people online and then moving them in within a few weeks. Maybe that's the reason why, Amber. And they were toxic, and it was every day I felt fight or, fight or flight response. I roll. My nervous system was never calm. And something I have repeatedly told Tommy. Girl, please, you would have lost so much damn weight if that was the case. Tommy is like, I finally found someone who, like, calms my nervous system. Like, calms the storm that's inside of me. I roll. I roll. You need to calm that storm, girl, not this random freaking feeder. And I know someone just said, don't rely on someone to, like, improve your mental health. But I think if people have ever been in the situation where it just feels like constantly, like, you have anxiety, like, something bad's about to happen. And someone that... I, girl, I... Was the many of us go through that every single day. Every single day, okay? Other people's anxiety and shit like that doesn't take a break. Why do you get to use it as an excuse and others don't? That's it. Like, not only... I mean, others do. But, you know. <laughs> do they not give you anxiety, but they calm you and they make you feel safe and comfortable. Like, that is everything I've wanted. And I finally found that. Like, that's beautiful to me. And I know a lot of people are like, it's only been a month. I get it. But I am a lesbian. We move kind of quickly. Not, not an excuse. It is a thing that happens. Um... I not with everyone okay it happens in straight couples as well girl don't put that on the community like happy amber too and you guys got to see her last i roll night because i genuinely was happy i felt like the drunk one the drunk live oh, okay i'm about to just tell the world like i am with tommy and i was that it i don't know fully i'm happy you know i just don't think that any of this should have happened online I don't. And if it was my choice, I would delete this from my thing. But I already know people are screen recording it. I already know that. Well, she deleted it anyways. Reaction channels got it. They're going to be watching it. So I'm going to let them do do them. I'm going to do me. I'm going to continue doing me. And I'm going to. <laughs> well, yeah, she has to resort to that. The phone sucks. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I was distracted because someone just called me famous. And I'm very much not that. Um. Anthony Volk, you can't say that because you don't know the full situation. Like, of course we know. At all in the slightest. So it's like sitting here saying like, oh, she's in the right, she's in the wrong. You literally can't say that without, you don't know like anything of what we're talking about. Like actually at all. So it doesn't make sense. Gentle soft love isn't supposed to make you want to cry on a live stream. Tommy's not the one causing that. Tommy's the one who actually makes me smile and laugh and feel safe and feel good and feel loved. I'm crying because I just got put on the spot to have a serious phone call with someone in front of thousands of people who hate me. Genuinely, that is the weirdest situation I have ever been on when it comes to YouTube. Genuinely. And you think? You think? I don't know, dude. Didn't someone come on and post her, like, dirty underwear? No, that was Chantal. Never mind. No, I think that happened to Amber, too. <laughs> There's just nothing I could do about it because the call happened, and it is what it is. Is that her stomach? Um... You could have just got off YouTube live. I could have. I could have pressed mute, really. And now that I think about it, I should have. Like, we put Tommy in more vlogs. How am I supposed to put someone I love in videos when, like, all of this is happening? Like, I roll. Dude, we're going to get another freaking wifey 2.0. Oh, my God. I would love to. I would love her to be in my videos one day. But it just feels 
so out of reach at this moment. But then again, I know that everything gets better. I know that. Like, and like she wanted Do you? to be in my videos. Like she, she literally asked me, she was like, is that something that you want? Like for your partner to be in your videos? And I was like, in fairy tale land? Like, yeah, of course. And she was like, well, if that's something that you really want, then I will be in your videos. And I just thought that was like the sweetest thing in the world. Like genuinely, I was like, wow. <clears throat> oh, it's almost like she's attention hungry too. Because that's something that we would talk about. That, you know, like YouTube is a big part of my life. Genuinely a big part. But just a few days ago, she was going to quit and go get a real job. Okay. I did post her on TikTok and on Instagram today. Yes. Like when some. I don't feel like going and looking at that right now, guys. We'll cover it whenever we do another TikTok one. Also, sorry that the Ask FM videos, like, just kind of disappeared. I mean, they're still up. I don't mean it like that. I just haven't gotten to doing the next part yet so probably this week is that something like super like intimate we've just been so busy y'all so busy you know maybe it's my doing i shouldn't have said anything to alexa so that's my fault but oh it is like just personal it wasn't mean to me it was nothing like that like i will say tommy has never been mean to me ever mm. not one time and you guys know me if someone's mean to me i'm gonna tell y'all <laughs> i'm gonna be like bruh like as you guys call me a victim i can't like <sighs> tommy is genuinely like i can never stop smiling and laughing when i'm like around her talking to her bro i'm sure you're like a giggly little schoolgirl all the time or like and she's just genuinely a good person and it's just like <laughs> okay i roll how am i gonna resolve this with alexis i don't know she just texted me about a fucking pumpkin buzz ball i'm just like I didn't reply though. And it's like, I try really hard not to like, Ew. Alexis even admitted on the phone call in front of you guys, she also has BPD. So that's something me and her, like we relate over. So it's like when she gets like this or like whatever, I try my hardest to be understanding of that. When she gets like this. So Alexis once again is the problem. Go figure. And I don't know. It's not even that it's specifically Alexis. It's that anyone that has some slight concern for Amberlynn is the problem. I don't know. But she did just text me about a, a pumpkin buzz ball. And supposedly it's hitting. So if you guys like buzz balls and you like pumpkin, I guess um, she... Rec Doesn't she like those? ...means that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, y'all. So that's that. Thank God. My... Jesus, an hour again, of course. Anyways, you guys, thank you so, so much. I truly do appreciate you, and I appreciate your patience and understanding during this crazy freaking time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We'll get through it, though, you guys. We'll get through it together. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get this slightly edited <laughs> and sent out for you guys. The only reason that I don't spend a ton of time editing it is because it takes so long to save the videos multiple times and then to upload it. Like, I'm going to be here probably for the next two hours trying to do this. So, <laughs> thank you for your patience and understanding once again, guys. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for tuning on in. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.